How y'all doing? My name is Will Harris, and I want to have a conversation with men about being real models. And what I mean by real models is we 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 too often look up to our role models on our posters or in the music we listen to, but we fail to really interact with our people and be models that they can see, hear, and touch. Like we need to be people that can be felt upon, you know. Now I'm an everyday man just like you. And I feel like I owe it to my community to be responsible, to be hardworking, to be dedicated to achieving goals in life, to be an example that they can see. And then I owe it to them to reach out to them so that they can make it there. Extend a hand, so to say, so that they can see it, so they can get to the light also. Now, a lot of people are so self-centered these days that they only worry about themselves. They only worry about what can benefit me. What can benefit me if um if I'm going out here and I'm working at a boys and girls club or I'm teaching a GED class or if I'm being in my kids' life. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, most men do a lot of men a lot of men do think that way. Like I don't have the time and the energy to put forth for anything other than myself. And that is that is that is borderline shame. Because while you do have to take care of yourself, you do owe it to others to make it and to, and to lead by example. We need leadership. We as men need to provide it. And too often than not, our women are stepping up to the plate because our men are, are lacking in so many different areas. You know, um, the women that's become the leading breadwinner in the home. The woman is the most educated. The woman has to raise the children, then go out and work and go to school, and be a protector and a provider. She's doing all this like there is an absence of men out in the world. There's not women and children everywhere. It's, it's actually men out there, you know. So what are we doing with this? What are we What are we doing to, to solve these problems? What are we doing to, to leave our print on the world? You know, it was too, more often than not, I, I keep hearing the definition of average be pushed back so far. Because so little is expected out of us as men these days. An example. Women say, um, Will, you're such a good man because you you um, you take care of your child, you got your own, and you work for a living. And you treat me with respect, Will. You're such a great man. No. 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 That don't make me a great man. That's about things that I am supposed to do. So, you know, as men, we need to get to the point where we expect so much more out of ourselves. We have to be the real model for our children, for our community, for our women. They need us. So what are you doing to change it? What are you doing to be a better man for yourself? Because you being a better man for yourself, others will see it. Like, I don't have to go out and everyday broadcast, hey, look what I'm doing for my community. Look, I'm working. Look, I'm doing this. Look, I'm doing that. No, you don't have to do those things. But others will see it. And they will say, hey, you know what? That man right there, that's that's a good man. Every day I see him, he's doing something positive. Every day I see him, he's trying to elevate himself. So what are you doing to be a real model? You don't need to be on a poster. You don't need to be glamorous to to hold down a nine to five. To be in somebody's life. To make a difference. You can make a difference just being you. So, like, like what 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 is what is the problem? with us as men that we keep falling for the same trap that's been trapping us for centuries. You know? Um and, and a few new ones. A few new ones. We got um we got stuff like you get you get two years in prison for every rock of cocaine you got. Rock. Crack rock. We know it. You get two years of prison for that. But for the same the same ground or ounces in um in powder, you get a misdemeanor, or you get probation. Now, why is that? You think about that. The same, the same substance, but it has different, it has different um, penalties for it. Think about that. Um, we got videos that promote us being whores, basically, being male whores, going around messing with miscellaneous women that we know we're not going to be with a long time. But then we get on child support system, and I see some men with six, seven kids, 
They can't even bring home a check, so they like, why work? It's a trap. Don't fall for it, but not only should you not fall for it, you should teach against it. Like, if we knew we grew up without fathers, and we know what it's like to grow up without fathers, for the life of me, I can't understand how we can raise children that are fatherless, if you call that raising them. Now, there's certain things that we, we, we as men need to, to do for ourselves. And if anything I can give in a message, I would say this. We need to be more self-disciplined. Like, we need to discipline ourselves. As men, as grown men, who is going to give us a whooping? <laughs> who is going to say, you know what, you grounded. You want punishment? Nobody. But the law. So why go that route? You know, like, like we need to say to ourselves, you know what? Until I can do right by one woman, I need to not be sleeping around. We need to say, you know what? Until I can get myself to the financial area that I want to be in, I won't, I won't be, I won't be buying all this miscellaneous stuff that I will not use long term. You know, like budget better. We need to do these things, guys. And I talked about earlier five areas of life we should always be working on mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially. As men, we need to be building in all five of those areas because it's so important for our foundation. Because we start the foundation. We are the foundation of any family. And without it, we're going to continue going in a downward spiral. I have a small daughter, four years old right now. One day she was going to be a woman. And when she is a woman, I can do everything I can to raise her to be the best woman on earth. But she still got to go out here in that world, don't she? She still got to deal with men just like us. So what are we hoping for her to attract? Like, if you're raising a son and I'm raising my daughter, what is my daughter getting out of dating, potentially marrying your son? We have to make the changes here. It stops here. This is 2010. This is the year when you stop surviving and start living and during that process take somebody with you teach somebody reach out to somebody